Good day, my friends. Furnace alert. Bruce here. So, back on Steve's chainsaw. I've kind of split them now. I've got Steve's completely torn apart. Not torn apart, ripped, disassembled. Tearing it apart would be unrepairable. And I've got the carburetor right here. And I'm going to put it through my washing, uh, uh, ultrasonic washing tool. And, uh, but first of all, we're just going to make sure that we have the right kit that I ordered as uh, Mix from Mix Motors would say from Amazonia. So I'm really starting to enjoy the, the shop reorg. Starting to get used to all the tools being over that direction. Okay. Walbro HDC carb. Perfect. Now on this one, this carb only has the one the one adjuster for H and L. And on mine it has the, the H and the L. So that is that's an interesting thing. So there's a slight difference in the two models, but not enough to uh, keep, to hold us back. So I'm just gonna open this guy up now. Mm. Down we go. We're going to get a, a beer box and we're going to put the new one in the beer box. Let's take this bad boy apart with one of my favorite screwdrivers. Where do you start first? I say we start at the, at the uh, diaphragm. Are you, are you with me? Yes, you are. When I say that, are you with me, I'm just looking up to see if there's a record button happening and that the camera is facing my hands, not up at the ceiling. Okay, here we go. Cover me. We're going in. It's a brave thing. Okay, so you can, I'll get this off of here, but you guys can almost hear that from there, I'm sure. There we go. I think I'm better cutting it than I am pulling it. Without scratching the body of the carburetor too, right? Yeah, this is the original one. Good job, Steve. So right after we do this one, I'm going to disassemble mine because there's a bit of plumbing I want to have a look at on mine with regards to the uh, chain oil pressure hose. Zzz. <laughs> okay, where are we now? Ah, see, I cut through it. That's how brittle it is. Right there, that's a bugger, eh? Stuck on there like glue. In fact, it might have been glue sticking on there. I'm going to have a couple of looks right now. Right here. If you guys can see in there. There's the valve. There's the little arm that lifts the throttle needle. Right? Boom, 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 boom. And... I take my screwdriver and I, it, I look there, it is, well, yeah, there might be a little clearance there. No, I think it's a zero thousandth there. So that's good. Now here is the diaphragm. This is usually what goes on a two-stroke engine, especially an old one. Even with the furnace going, I wonder if you can hear that. So it's shot. Especially when you take the new one and you see how soft and subtle it is. Now let's look back down at our happy little carburetor. Did they send me an intake manifold? No, they did not. 
I thought I saw an intake manifold in the picture. Dirty dog, ya. Well, let's keep going. So that's why I wasn't running. That's right, too. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. Remember, you guys, cleanliness is, is the most important thing, eh? You got, the first thing you gotta do is get your hands dirty. Okay, let's keep going. All right, we lined up. Yes, let's carry on. This is the needle for the acceleration. And, and once it's all together, the needle should be exactly level with the body of the carburetor right there. So now we're going to continue taking this little carburetor apart. Let's take this. There is a gasket under here, and a lot of guys don't realize that. This is pretty much old school two-stroke, this one, hey? Are you with me? And we're recording. I'm just trying to check, eh? Get this screw out here. Good. Now this should just pull off of here. This this metal and the and the needle and the spring is still left in there. If you can see that, dump that spring out. Now we'll take the spring out, and then this. Um, the last one I did was stuck in really good, and I'm not quite sure how this is going to go. Right. Well, it's coming. There it is. That's good. Let's take the back off. Do this in the order it was supposed to be done. Good. Now we'll just pry that off on the should be able to get there it is. There's a little edge there. You can pry this off. And just go slow. There it is. Oh, it's a king. Here we are. It's stuck to the back, not to the front. So there's a, a diaphragm and a gasket. Okay, there's the door, the diaphragm, the gasket. And then the last thing to come off of this side is this screen. And it can be hard to get off. I'm going to get a pin. You just poke the pin into that screen and pull. There it is. This one's kind of coppery looking, eh? Old. So now, have we got everything off this carburetor? Oh, one more thing. Let's check this uh, H mixture. So we'll see where it's at. Half. Oh, uh, just over three quarters. That's all right. Okay, there's the needle. We'll just get some carb spray and spray it into that hole. Through where the needle goes. And then right, I have to open the door here on this little throttle. There are three little tiny holes, one, two, and three, that are opened up to the inside of the throttle body. And if I spray in there, you should see something, maybe not. I hope you did. Now the rest of this is just, it looks good. Okay, so now we're gonna wash everything up. Let me turn this off. We'll get it into the, uh, well, let's just do it right now, eh? We'll lay that in here. We don't need the diaphragms. We will wash the needle, although we're gonna use the new needle. Where's our little basket here? New needle. The screen will always be handy, even if not on this machine. The little door, the needle, the, I don't think we need to wash the spring, but we need to wash this uh, gasket cover. We'll, we'll, we'll put, 
we'll just put him in there. Yeah, that's good. And I don't think there's anything left unless... No, we don't need to wash the spring. So now, let's put all this stuff into said container. Well, because that little spring's an easy little guy to lose right there. Excellent. One, two, three, four. Good. Clean. Empty. Well, let's put them in the washer. Lid on. I'm already heated to 58 degrees, which is perfect. Because when you go to clean, it's going to clean for 35 minutes. I think cleaning time. Clean time should be 30. Clean. So we don't need the heater anymore because it'll, uh, whoop, there we go. Sorry, that. There we go. We got a buzz away for 30 minutes. This will just get me time to take the other carburetor off the other machine. <laughs> so that was fun. So there's our new carburetor bits. And we're going to just do a small cleanup and go to plan B. I don't know what plan B is yet. A couple of things to do on the other side yet. Alright, this hole, got to measure it. Because it felt short on that other one. <laughs> oh my god. You guys can laugh. There we go. Exactly 24 inches of rope. This one is, well we don't need the ratchet, so, 20. So I'm going to change this rope out. And these have a nice cute little winder in them too. Do you see that notch? So let's just do this. Can I do it without taking it apart? But remember, remember this is old school two-stroke stuff. You gotta be really careful. The rewinds on the new stuff are a lot easier to deal with than the old stuff. this for five inches of rope, eh? No, oh, it's gonna go. <laughs> hmm. There. Whew! Got lucky on that one. You get a feel for it though, you do, you really do. Eh? Sometimes you wonder if you're opening up a can of worms, eh? Well, if you're going fishing, a can of worms, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're allowed to use them. Come on. Oh, me. Oh, there it is. Let's get that off of there. Okay. Carefully. Good. Now we want to use this for length. I'll be right back. All right. I went back to the thicker rope. That's the two different ropes. That's the old and the new. I think the new one is still just a tiny bit thinner than the old one. So we won't worry about it. And I'm going to Feed that through. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. Now the wash is still there, right? And I'm going to just feed that ugly part of the knot down in that hole first. I'm going to have to cut that off and re-glue re it. Good. 
Nice. All right, next step. Getting this back on here. I'm getting uh, five lines of rope on there. There's the cam on the spring. Let's just put my finger on there and blow a little crud out of there. We'll air wash that. Oh, this is my favorite oil. It's air tool oil. Well, what's more air toolish than a spring on a chainsaw? Okay, now we want to catch that spring. Right? Get the bolt back on so we don't have a castringer. And I say six wines, and we'll see how much rope we've used up. I think the spring wines this way. Yep. Okay, so I say six wines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, let's put a little knot at 24 inches. Well, after we get this sucked through, I guess. <laughs> Do. Okay. Now we can put a little knot at 24 inches. Or no, I want to go more than 24. Well, oh, that's 26. I think that's pretty good. So let's just see now if this brings us home. And maybe we should just be careful and stick this on here, too. Just checking the ultrasonic cleaner, guys. Yeah. Good. Any kind of a knot will do right now. Now the old one was 20. I'm just going to put a knot at the end of it. And we are there. So these older rewinds, they, they're not as contained as the new ones are. Right? you got to be just a little bit more careful. But what I do like about them is that little notch right there at the top. You can see it's moving back and forth. And you actually just put the wines in the rope with this with the string which is I know nowadays you don't see that do, 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 do. that sizzle you heard was my skin burning all right oh, now let's just do a Full compare. Oh, that's perfect. They're identical. The new one. This one's got a little wonkiness to it. I might have to have a look at that. So, yes, sometimes my fussiness costs me a dollar. But I'm not into this for speed, right? I don't even know if this is polite to say, but the uh, the machines are the uh, product for the YouTube channel. Hence this name change of my channel. See you later. Let's just get this stuff out of the ultrasonic cleaner. Now, some guys think I'm nuts, but this is uh, methyl hydrate or kind of some kind of a straight denatured alcohol if you're in the States, and I reuse it. And I just filtered it. I'm going to reuse it again. I, uh, 
What I like to do is after I wash my stuff, I like to just, instead of pouring water over it again, I pour a little bit of this stuff through it. So now I got the I've got the ultrasonic cleaner warmed up, right? I might just pop that other carburetor off and do it. You guys don't have to watch that one. Everything done here? Yep. So let me just do that. You guys don't have to watch. Well, what the heck? Blades coming on. We're gonna set the uh, parts into the little tray again. Okay, so now this pulls out of here, believe it or not, and it should come out. I got this, I've had this spark plug here fool me a few times. There we go. Well, that's easier to do when you've done it three times in a week. That's good to know. Don't touch that. <laughs> Air filter. Now, five screen cover. Good. There should only be one line on here. Good. Good. I'm going to leave everything just like this. How about a fast motion disassembly? What's left? The Jets. Boop, 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 boop. Benny and the Jets. Now, low and high. Oh, I should have checked how high the low one was. How high the low one was. Okay, it's about there. Half. One. And a half. Two. And a two. So, two on the low. Half. And a half on the high. Okay. Very similar. These three little jets, just like before. I'm not seeing any flow there on that third one. Oh yeah. So the dirt's going to accumulate there. And that's it. Let's clean this carburetor. Right Perfect. No, I just need a little container for all of this stuff. Perfect. Okay, I can clean up. So, tomorrow we will start reassembling and cleaning again. It's the next day. Let's get this carburetor back together for little Steve. Remember, this is the one that just has the one adjustment valve, right? So here's the old flapper Diaphragm, yep, goes on like that. So we take this one off and put this one on. You guys are yelling, the screen, the screen. And I just thought there is one more step here. Ouch. I felt that. Okay, screen right here. I know they'll run without the screen, 
but it's not a good idea because this is your first and last defense against clogging up the other side on the jet. On the needle, I'm sorry, the needle and seat. And it used to be set in there equidistantly. Yeah, that should do it. Okay. Now I believe. There we go. I feel better now. Get rid of that. Next one. It is, this guy is our replacement. And it went in like that. And there's two of them, if you look. One has a little hockey stick angle and one doesn't. And the one I'm using has the little angle dangle. So it has to go on. Oh, that's the other one. That's how easy it is. It has to go on like that. Okay, so now we're going to put the, put the gasket in. Right. The spring. I kept thinking, uh, something's not right. And you know how it is when something's not right. Something's not right. Okay. There we go. Spring in hole. Maybe. Let's just do it sitting flat. <laughs> uh, it's almost like a game of operation, right? Got to keep our, right, our finger on the end. We're almost there, guys, really. It's not that bad. Something's happening here, but it is ain't exactly clear. There we go. Did you guys ever watch that show, uh, The Tow Truck Guys? Jamie Davis? Decent Jimmy! I don't watch much TV now. I mostly watch YouTube. And I got so many channels I subscribe to that I want to give respect to the guys that I subscribe to. But I don't have time to watch it all. So I got about eight or nine favorites. <sighs> Okay, that's absolutely perfect. Uh, needle valve should be right on the nail, right on the edge of the screwdriver, right across there. If this goes on first, and I think it does. So I think that goes there. That goes there. Oops. There we go. You can't muck it up because they drill holes in the right spots for you. I'm not going to screw anything down too tight. We're going to make sure this little guy has a home. And have we got anything left? Negatory. Good. Even feels good now. High low valve. And it was at three quarters. I remember that. So half three quarters. Okay. So the only thing left is this gasket, and it's a little bit rough, eh? I think it'll be fine. 